Right, this is inhomogeneous first order equations, and we'll be solving homogeneous equations as well. And some of the questions have initial values, initial conditions, if you're looking for questions with those. Right, first order, this is when the highest power is the first derivative, so y prime. A homogeneous equation, this is an example such as y prime plus some function of x times y, that equals zero. Uh, so we, if we have a uh, second order, we'll have y double prime, but we're not going to do those yet. In homogeneous equations, that's when you have uh, our homogeneous equation, but equal to another function r of x, which we won't, we don't know yet. Right now, to find the general solution for a homogeneous equation, which is one of these, we have this formula here, which is y equals c times e to the minus integral of p of x dx, so the p of x from here. Right, and we've got an example of a homogeneous equation. Find the general solution of x times y prime plus 2y equals 0. We want it into a form like this first though. So we've got y prime, here we've got x y prime, so we divide everything by x, so we have y prime plus 2y over x, and this gives us our, it gives us our p of x, which is 2 over x. So we do that simple integral, the e, and this gives us here. And this, what I've done here, I've moved the 2 out, so we get the integral of 1 over x, which is log, so that's a nice easy integral. Um, and minus 2 log x is log x to the minus 2, which is 1 over x squared. And the e and log cancel, so it's c over x squared. Yeah. Now, if we have initial conditions, this is our general equation, general solution. If we have initial conditions y of 2 equals 1, this is saying y when x is 2 is equal to 1. So we have 1 equals c over 4, with the 4 up, c equals 4. So the general solution is 4, uh, y equals 4 over x squared. Yeah. Right now, now we have the inhomogeneous equation, so i.e., this is uh, the, the general solution when you have inhomogeneous equations is equal to y equals yp. So that's our particular solution. So using our rx, so we have, and this is equal to y1 integral rx over y1 dx plus our c, our con just a constant, y1. Now this is just our homogeneous case. So the homogeneous general solution. As you can see here, the y1 is just equal to this, but we've just moved the c out, so we can use this in here. Right now, when you're doing this integral, you want to not cancel these. Do not cancel this y1 and y1 here. You need to leave it on like that because it will change the solution otherwise. Right now, to find the general solution of xy prime plus 2y equals minus x plus 1. Now, as you can see from here, this is the same as we had for our homogeneous equation. So we already know our p of x is 1 over x squared, because all we're doing, remember, our, this is the same, but without the c. So it would be c over x squared. Because we haven't got the c now, it's just 1 over x squared. Yeah? Because we did that in the last question. Now what we need to do it with this r of x. So we just use the, the equation again for y of p, which is 1 over x squared, which is our y1, times the integral of this part here. Now remember, I divided by x everywhere, so it's minus x plus 1 over x here. Then we've got to divide it by y1, so it's 1 over x squared there. Then remember, do not cancel. Leave these as they are. Rearrange it. You'll get here. Um, rearrange again. you get minus x squared plus 1, minus x squared plus x dx. Right, now we do the integral here, which is a pretty simple one, which is minus x cubed over 3 plus x squared over 2. Now we can start cancelling. So we get minus x over 3 plus a half, and that is our gen uh, particular solution, the y of p. Now what we've got to do is we've got to add them together. So y equals this one, plus this one, times c obviously. So it's minus x over 3 plus a half plus c times 1 over x squared. 
and that is our general solution to here. Now if we have initial conditions, same I've got the same initial conditions here, y is two, uh, y of two is one, but I've just put the values in, put one in, put uh, x is two in, solve it down, you get c equals fourteen over three, just put that value back in, y equals that shouldn't be there. Uh, that should be minus. Oh yes, that's fine. So now we do, we've all, all we've got is our value for c. So we put, just put the value for c in. So it's y equals minus x over three plus a half plus fourteen over three x squared. I hope that made sense.